Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to the official Black Friday video for 2013. All the other ones, those were fakes. I mean, I didn't make any other Black Friday videos for this year, but if I did, they would be fakes because this is the official one. The other ones, fake. This one, official. So I'm going to go and, of course, talk about all of the Black Friday deals I got. I'm going to show you what I got, of course. I'm going to talk about what I did uh, and where I went to. You know what, let's start off with that because it's... You know, very simple. Nothing really big happened. I went to Walmart. That's the only place I went. You know, the only brick and mortar store I went to was Walmart. I went there. I bought a bunch of Blu-rays. I have them here. Okay, I'll show you in a second. All right, you know, chill down. But ch yeah, chill down. <laughs> Calm down. That's what I meant to say. Um, and I got a bunch of Blu-rays. You know, it was pretty crazy. I had to wait on the line just to get into Walmart because I guess mine's not a 24-hour Walmart, which means you know it wasn't open all day. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I had to wait online to get in, uh, but it didn't take me long. It took about 40 minutes to get in, which, yeah, I know that's a long time, but you know, a couple weeks ago, I waited three hours for a PS4 that I didn't get, so whatever. <laughs> you know, 40 minutes is fine, especially for something that I definitely know I will get, which is just a bunch of Blu-rays. So I waited on there. I went in, you know, looked around a little bit. You know, I saw the, the Blu-ray section, I guess, which is... It was weird. It, it, it's very strange how they. I'm sorry for the cars, but uh, it was very strange how they set this up this year. Because last year it was just like on one of the big main aisles, you would just see a bunch of, you know, a bunch of. I guess I don't know. Uh, uh, these cardboard shelves with a bunch of Blu-rays in them and games and whatnot. And they were on, like, the big main aisles where you see, you know, where you can, like, go on to different aisles and stuff. I don't know. I, I, I don't, whatever. Anyway, it was easy to figure out where all the stuff was because, you know, it, it was a big aisle and you would see a bunch of all these uh, different shelves. This year, they put them in, like, different aisles and stuff like you had to go into the clothing aisle to get your blu-rays or you had to go through the toy aisle if you know what i mean it doesn't whatever it was very it was very claustrophobic because there's so many people like you know just like oh i want i want freaking 42 on blu-ray and it's just like oh my god just get away from me but it wasn't it wasn't terrible uh it wasn't annoying i heard one argument happen where someone didn't get a tv that they wanted and they even had like a little ticket or something i don't know i just eavesdropped a little bit and it was it was pretty bad that that one argument was bad because that guy really got pissed but for the most part it wasn't it wasn't an agonizing experience, and I only went to one store, so again, only one. And also, by the way, I live in New York, which, you know, there's a lot of people that live in New York, so, you know, there was a lot of people there, but it still wasn't that bad. You know, people were polite for the most part, uh, people were helpful when I asked you, hey, where's this and where's this? It, it, it was okay. I, I had a decent time. I mean, I didn't have a good time, but I didn't have a terrible time. So, now let's get into what I got for Black Friday. Okay, these are the stack of Blu-rays I got. I didn't get too much. Last year, I got a lot of, you know, games and Blu-rays. This year, I didn't get really hardly any games. Actually, I, I pretty much got no games from uh, Walmart. And I got a bunch of Blu-rays, but not even as much as I did last year. I got a bunch of $4 Blu-rays last year. This year, I got maybe, like, uh, I think, 8 I don't know. That's estimating. I didn't count it. We'll figure out in a second. So... Uh, yeah, the first thing I got, which is one of the big ones I really wanted to get, was Oblivion on Blu-ray, and of course I got it. This is actually one of my favorite movies of, the, of this year. It's a great sci-fi movie. Tom Cruise is awesome. You know, the whole cast is awesome. I love the special effects and the action and the story itself. You know, it's not the... It's not a perfect film, sure, but it's very atmospheric, very beautiful looking, and of course that soundtrack is amazing. I love that soundtrack. Can't remember who made the soundtrack. Who? M83. That's they actually have a a Blu-ray exclusive thing where you can like listen to one of their songs. I don't know. It says right here. There you go. If you can read that. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's a uh, Oblivion. I got that. Really looking forward to watching it again. A movie I just re I just rewatched yesterday was because I got all these Blu-rays yesterday. By the way, not today. Uh, which today is Black Friday, but I got it. I, I, I did all this yesterday. A little weird. Uh, Sinister. Now, this is one of my favorite horror movies of the last few years. It's a really scary, very unsettling, very atmospheric horror film with a great lead performance from uh, Ethan Hawke. I love this movie. It's, it's you know, I mean, it's not... It's, it's disturbing without it being extremely bloody, but it's still a very violent, very, you know, 
you know, disgusting at times, uh, at times movie. It's very disturbing, really good. If you like horror films, definitely go check this out. If you're not a big horror fan, then you're just not going to find this scary. But me, I found it very scary. So sinister. I love it. Oh, if you want to see the back, here you go. Got Ethan Hawke's face. He's like, hey, man, I'm sorry for Getaway. And that movie sucked. So, here you go. Next movie is Dread, which I did not own this on Blu-ray, and I had to, and I didn't know this, but Dread only came out on Blu-ray for the 2D and 3D version. Like, wait, hold on. This is a Blu-ray digital copy, ultraviolet, but it's also a Blu-ray 3D. So it only came out as a regular 2D and 3D movie, besides, you know, you can have a selection of just 2D without 3D. No, you, you had to get the 3D version, which is fine, because I think it costs the same price as a regular 2D, so that's fine. But uh, I was very surprised to see it said 3D. I didn't, I didn't notice that. So that was really cool. So now I get Dread in 3D, which when I saw it in theaters, I, I don't think I saw it in 3D, but I heard like it was amazing in 3D, and I did not see it in 3D. So guess what? I get to see it in 3D now. One of my favorite underrated movies, Dread. Hopefully a sequel will happen because, you know, Carl Urban, he's a badass in Dread. Cool character. Makes me really want to read the comics, which I will never do uh, because I'm lazy. Um, next is... I got this for, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mention how much I got these game, uh, these movies for. I got Oblivion for 10 bucks, not bad. I got Sinister for 7 bucks, And I got Dread for 7 bucks. So there you go, I forgot to mention that. Uh, the next one I got was also 7 bucks. I got the 007 Daniel Craig, not really anthology, because and anthology you need more than two movies. But uh, I got the, I don't know, collection. It comes with Casino Royale, and it comes with... Uh, Quantum of Solace, so it doesn't come with uh, Skyfall, but I didn't own any of these movies, either one of them. Now, if you know me, Casino Royale is my favorite movie of 2006. One of the best movies just out, just one of the best movies I've seen in my life. I love that movie. It's so good. Quantum of Solace, I really like, but it's eh, it's, it's, it's not as good, definitely not, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but it's not as good, damn, Quantum of Solace is only an hour and 40 minutes long, I didn't know that, that's weird, um, so that's what it says on the back, at least, that's like one of the shorter James Bond movies, then, maybe not, I don't know, I don't remember, but anyway, I got both of them now, so, technically, I got five movies so far, right, yeah, 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 uh, so the next movie I got was 21 Jump Street, which this one was only four bucks, and I love this movie. Now I had to select, I had, I had the option of choosing either this or Gladiator, and even though I haven't seen Gladiator in years, I had to get this, because it has like so many special features. There's a gag reel on there, which I've never seen, and I love gag reels. Oh, it's so shiny because of the goddamn cellophane. There you go. You can read that. Anyway, it, it, there's a gag reel on there. Uh, and for four bucks, I had to. I love this film. And I love Gladiator. Don't get, go, don't get me wrong. But that's a movie I've seen a lot. Now, I haven't seen it in a very long time, but still. Now, the next three movies I got here are really cool because these are the Steelbook uh, limited edition versions of these Blu-rays. And they were all for four bucks. And two of these movies I love. One of them, not so much, but I'll tell you why I got it. So the first one is Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. This is an awesome steelbook case because, you know, it's a, first of all, it's a comic book movie. So you make uh, uh, the cover art into a comic book style look, then, hey, you, 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 you're going to do good. It looks pretty good. So that's a steelbook for Hellboy 2, which is an awesome film. So there you go. Next one I got was Serenity, which is, of course, the movie that followed Firefly, which was a TV show, of course. Uh, Serenity? I need a drink. Serenity, of course, is the movie that followed after Firefly got canceled and, you know, abruptly and bullshittily. Is that, is that a word? But... Yeah, it got canceled, it should have. So this is the movie version. I, I, it's supposed to tie up loose ends and stuff. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Same thing with Firefly. I haven't seen that in a long time. So, there you go. Serenity. And the next movie is Doom on Blu-ray. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Actually, I don't think I showed Serenity's case that much. Let me show it a little bit better. 
There you go. Because that one's actually a really awesome cover art. So, there you go. I didn't show the back either. Here you go. Here's the back. There you go. Doom I got because I have never mentioned this, but Doom is actually one of my... It's one of my guilty pleasure movies because... I love the games, I really do, but I, I, I don't give a shit about the story of Doom. I don't really care about characters or if they're demons or not. I just love Doom as a game. So when I heard there was a Doom movie, I was excited only because I love Doom. So I saw it, I loved it when I was like 15 or 16, wherever it came out, uh, and I watched it so many times. I remember I bought it on UMD PSP. That's right, I bought this on a UMD not on DVD. No, I bought it full price on UMD at a GameStop for my PSP. And I watched it maybe a good 10 times on my PSP. I watched this movie a good 15 times altogether. I don't know why. I just love this film. And, I, you know, watching it now, it's probably going to suck ass just like the critics say. I'm just going to say it does. I'm just going to say it does because most likely it will. But I just love this film. So, Doom... Even this, even this cover art is good. I don't know why this got a cover art like this, a limited edition. It didn't even sell well in theaters. Like Serenity, I understand because it's a cult classic for many people. And I understand Hellboy too because it did good at the box office and a lot of people liked it. But Doom didn't do either and I don't know why it's a, lim a limited edition. Maybe it's because the studio... Who made this one? Oh, they're all universal. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Never mind. It makes sense. Kinda. So, that was all the Blu-rays I got. Now, I will be getting some more in later from Best Buy and stuff. Because I did order some stuff online, but they have not been... I haven't received them yet. Because if you did not know, Best Buy did this deal where if you were an elite member on Best Buy, you can actually get the Best Buy, I mean, the Black Friday deals early. And of course, I took advantage of that because I was an elite member. So I got a bunch of cool stuff early, so... I still didn't get them delivered to me, but I think I'm going to wait until everything gets delivered to me, and I'll show them off in a second part to this video, so you can see more of the stuff I get. So, that'll happen a little bit later. I'm so busy with videos. I still have to do, like, a shit ton of video game reviews and movie reviews and stuff. It's, just, it's too much. You know, most of that stuff is going to be in December, so it's not going to happen in the next week or so. Um, and most of them I might not even review and, you know in the long run because I have so much stuff to do but anyway the video games I got now the only three games I got delivered to me in the mail were from Gamefly and I I bought these like three days ago so they got them shipped quick which is funny because Gamefly never does that when I, I rent a, a, a game from them but you know when I buy them they're just like oh shit they're get, he's giving us more money get that shit out there quick so I got in like three days um, and they're having a, a deal for Black Friday if you Buy a used game, you get $5 off each of them. So I got three games, which usually costs about $17 each for $20. Actually, no. Two cost $17. The other one costs like $11. So I got all those for like $20 um, because I got like $15 off because I got three games. Five, 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 that's 15. And I had a $10 coupon, so that's 25 off. Whatever. It, it came out to like 20 something dollars. Um, so, no, it was $20 and, like, some change. So, the games I got there were Devil May Cry HD Collection, which I've always wanted to play. Even though I actually did play it. I only played the third one, though. I have not played the first or second one in a very long time. Uh, I played the HD version. Not, you know, I played all three of them when they first came out, but... Whatever. I got a Murda City of Gangsters, which is supposed to be like a RTS gangster game where you actually have to make your 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 like family and stuff and you know send them out to shoot gas stations. I don't fucking know. I don't know mafia stuff. And I got this one just you know in memory of Brian. I got Family Guy back to the multiverse. I got this one because I heard it was terrible and as you know I love playing terrible games and even though I don't like Family Guy anymore, it still has a soft spot in my heart. Because I, I used to love Family Guy. I really did. Like, I would tell you straight up to your face. I think the first few uh, years of Family Guy are really funny, very clever, and just, you know, very entertaining. But nowadays, it's just become ridiculous with Family Guy. I tried to watch an episode, like, maybe a year ago, and I was just like, oh, God, it's just not funny. 
And, uh, yeah, but I got this game. I heard it was horrible. It's, you know, I don't know why I got it. But I got it anyway. I, I don't know why, but I got it. I, whatever. Rest in peace, Brian. Uh, so here's the, the back. And here's the side. So here you go. That's it. That's all I got for Black Friday this year. All these games for 20 bucks, by the way. Not bad. I mean, this game sucks. I heard this game's not that great either. But you know what? Right now, you can get Devil May Cry for 20 bucks new. So hey, you know what? I got a deal. I got these sh two shitty games and a good game with three great games. Well, two great games and one mediocre game. So there you go. There is my best, uh, my, I keep saying Best Buy video, but my Black Friday video for 2013. Look forward to more coming up real soon. Some movie reviews tomorrow will be Frozen. On Sunday will be Old Boy. Monday, I think I might try to get a Rise Son of Rome review out. Tuesday, I don't know. Whatever. So, there you go. There is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye.